So this is a little bit of a breakaway from all the Nikon gear that I've been looking at. You can see I've ordered business cards and I'm gonna show you how I went about getting them from Moo. So here's the Moo site and you've got lots of variety. I chose the Lux cards and I can credit Peter Hurley for directing me in that direction. And uh, they're pretty amazing. As you can see, they come in the standard business size, the Moo size and square. And you've got lots of options, which make it really cool. You can change the seam color and corners and you know quantities, of course. And the really great thing about this is you can just get these cards as exactly as you want. You've got their templates, you can design online, even upload a design if you use uh, InDesign or Illustrator or Photoshop. They've got all the guidelines. So I'm not a graphic designer, but I have a little bit of a background using InDesign. So I just went ahead and tried it out. So I chose the standard business cards. I wanted the black scene because it goes with my logo. So you've got all the options for uploads when it comes to templates. So I'm gonna download, the, in my case, the InDesign template. I've got a little bit of a background working with InDesign. And then once you have that, you've got Photoshop, of course, JPEGs and uh, Illustrator. So let's open this up now in InDesign. This is the standard uh, page layout. There's my logo on top, and once you turn off that guide that's there. So it's very easy to lay out. There's the back of one of my cards, and the second back. I actually made four different variations, and I chose to get the, you know, two of them printed because I'm testing this out. Of course, the QR code was made in InDesign. That's super easy to do, and it gives you a little bit of a preview. There's the front of the card, back one, and back two. Once you've got that all set, you just simply export it as a PDF and Moo gives you all the directions for that. It's just the standard default settings that you use. And I'm just gonna save it out here and save it out as a PDF, get uh, the various front and back PDF versions. And uh, just in this setting, I just used the directions that Moo had, which was to convert it into the CMYK space, this is the uh, coded gray call. This is what they suggest. It worked really well for me. One tip, I reduced my monitor's brightness. Normally I have it set to 120. I dropped it down to 90 uh, for its luminance value and that gave me a better result so I could see on screen what I was going to be getting from uh, Moo. Anyway, back to the Moo site. Just gotta select my size. I went with standard with the black edge. I chose 100 and I was ready to upload my file. And so we'll just go ahead and do that. And we go out to the Moo upload site and you can put various backs on. So just going out and grabbing, first of all, my front of my card. And there's that uh, front PDF. And we'll just upload that. It just takes a second. And there it is. And then I switch to the back and I upload one of the back files. So we'll just again go out back to my folder, grab one of the backs and there's back one. Again, these are just the PDFs right out of InDesign and they're in CMYK by the way. And so that's good. And I'll add a second back. Again, I'm just doing two of them. This is what was my test to get an idea of what they're going to be like. And I'll show you the results in a minute. So there's our second back. And there it is. Good. And I'm going to actually go ahead and download the PDF preview. So that's one of the nice things. You can go in and grab that. There we go. Generates a PDF. And then you've got it once you download it and you get a preview. So you get an idea of what it's gonna look like when it's printed. So there you go, there's the front, the back, front and back of the two cards. Here they are, I got them. Took about, about a week for them to ship, which isn't really bad. And uh, I like the results. They're pretty cool. They've got a nice firmness to them. They're not fl flexible. They're pretty, pretty rigid cards, even though they're paper. 
And as far as the results, they look like what I have on screen. I think you can see that. I shot this little one for Instagram just to get a, you know, this little video for Instagram just to get an idea. But there's QR code, everything printed, nothing blocked up. And the second image is a little more challenging because there's a lot of real, you know, really contrasty areas in it. But it held together really well. So I'm pleased. So I would suggest Moo if you're looking for new business cards.